Hi, my name is Ken Colby. I'm the author of Green Screen Wizard. Uh, today I'd like to uh, talk about a new product we've developed called Green Screen Wizard Webcam. And uh, as you can see, it's got some fun features. Uh, it allows uh, for real-time green screening with, uh, of your webcam output. And it uh, can put a message along the bottom and uh, that can scroll or not scroll and then you can have a background that scrolls or doesn't scroll. So some pretty cool features but the, one of the best features is the fact that it has some an automatic method to set up your webcam and we created that because it's difficult to get all the settings right uh, so that you can do good green screening. But let's back up a little bit and figure out well what what the heck is a virtual webcam and why would I want one? Well, the advantage of putting the green screen algorithm in a virtual webcam is that uh, all the webcams can use it. So the normal way a webcam works is a webcam has a name and a driver, and the output of that driver goes into an application like Zoom, and Zoom selects that driver or that output. In a virtual webcam, what happens is the virtual camera will select the, the actual camera and it basically takes its output, does its thing to it like green screening or adjustments and then uh, you can select the output of the virtual camera just as if it was the output of a regular webcam and in our case you just go to your application program and select virtual camera. Now obviously it's important that you keep the virtual camera running or it won't be able to, you know, process the stream properly. So let's take a look at some of the things we can do. Um, just real quickly, we can change backgrounds, we can scroll or not scroll, we can move around the background, we can add a message or take off a message, mirror the, the output and the message. Um, yeah, lots of cool stuff. So uh, let's take a look at some settings. So the big big webcam settings are right here. And really this, this screen is worth the price of admission because even if you don't want to do green screening, you still need to set up your webcam. And there's programs out there, but I think ours is one of the uh, easier. As you can see, there's a lot of different things that you can set. Uh, but the hard ones are the exposure and the brightness and the white balance. So, so in order to make those easy, uh, we allow you to do auto exposure, which helps. But you don't have to use auto exposure. You can run the algorithm without it. And to run, uh, oh, I'm sorry, uh, we have this thing called the white paper auto setup. So basically all you do is you just take a piece of paper, put it to your nose, and then click on that run white paper auto setup. And it'll give you good a uh, set of good settings for your particular webcam uh, in your particular lighting. Now it's also important to try to be in a bright, well-lit room because webcams do need a lot of light. Now in addition to all of that, um, once you have it, your webcam set up properly, now you can click the do green screening. Of course you have to have a green screen behind you. Um, and uh, this button will show the selected areas and there's basically three areas this is saying this is for sure the green screen this is for, for sure not the green screen and these red areas are questionable so they're going through the algorithm and uh, the other thing is that, you know, if we turn this off we see that the green screen doesn't quite cover the the whole room so we have these uh, clip right and clip left, so that you can have a continuous um, green screen effect. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can uh, denoise the video, which will make uh, the green screening a little better, but it has motion issues, so I normally don't use that. If it's well lit webcam, it should be okay. Uh, but if you have a cheap webcam and it's not working well, you can try with the denoise and just don't move around so much. Okay, so uh, that kind of covers this. Now for background settings 
And the neat thing about this is even if you're in a Zoom meeting, you can change them on the fly. So obviously you can just click a different background. Or go to the trees. Okay. And you don't have to scroll the background. You can choose not to scroll it. You can uh, make the background larger and smaller. You can move the background left and right. I'll make it a little larger you can. Oops. There we go. Then you can move it up and down, depending on how it fit in the first place. Okay. And then, of course, you can scroll the background. Now, I added one other feature, and that's show only background. So why would you want to do that? Well, let's say you had a, a slide that you wanted people to read. So you could let them read the slide, and then you could turn yourself back on. Uh, in the future, we might add a, an actual slideshow capability and put us up in the corner. But you'll have to let us know if you want us to go that far. So let's go back to a... Well, we can leave a non-scrolling background for now. And our message settings. So you can show a message or not. You can change the background of the message. Uh, you can mirror the message in case you mirror the webcam or the webcam gets mirrored. And, of course, you can change the message. So if you make it Green Screen Wizard Demo, it's the very best. And it doesn't show your typing. You have to click Change Text, and then it'll go. Oops, still not long. It's trying to show you that if it gets too large, it'll start scrolling. So this could be nice if you're... Uh, got a bunch of offers that you want to slide by people. Um, if you want a big gap between the messages, you can do that. Um, anyways, lots of fun features. So to use this thing in, in say, Zoom, let's click on Zoom here. Just go to their little settings button in video and select virtual camera. That's all there is to it. Now you're in Zoom. So normally if you do that, just to say processing power, you can close the preview window and uh, just rely on Zoom. Now the other thing is, if you want, you can uh, still do changes. Like I said, during your Zoom meeting, uh, you can do little minor adjustments. Uh, you could obviously change. Let's go back to our Beautiful flower bridge. Uh, scroll it. And I think the people have seen the message, so we're done with that. We can stop the message. Okay. Anyways, I think that gives you a nice overview of uh, the uh, Green Screen Wizard webcam. I think it's a great deal for $49. The uh, automatic white paper balance. Uh, setup routine is probably worth $49. And anyways, uh, we hope this will help you look good for for your uh, friends and your your uh, customers. Thank you very much for watching my video.